Hello, we are at AWFAs on the day two, and I'm talking to the curator of the show, Angelo, the executive vice president. Angelo, how are you doing this morning? Doing okay. Actually, it's uh, been a very active day. All good. That's right. So, how is the reaction after the successful completion of the successful show started yesterday and everybody looks so happy, so many people on the show floor? What do you feel? Um, I feel pretty good. I mean, there was obviously there's a lot of work that goes into putting a show like this together. And to see it all come together nicely and, and to see happy exhibitors really means a lot, as well as the attendees, of course. Um, there's a lot of activity on the show floor and that, that represents a very healthy market for us. So we couldn't be happier from that standpoint. So this edition you have many new exhibitors. That is correct. So would you like to tell us some about them from the which region they are from? Well, actually, are they local or some, from? They're from all over. They're not only from uh, all over the United States, but from from North America as well as international. So it's a really nice cross section of exhibitors in terms of geography and products, uh, and that's one of the great things about these kind of shows when you get a chance to. Uh, to see new products, things that are very new to the market, and things that our attendees have never seen before. It's, it gives them a great opportunity to see something that could help them in their manufacturing facility. Well, maybe it is too early to talk about the visitors in some, some numbers, but uh, since we are talking on the second day, what's your feedback about the visitors? It, it's been great. I mean, our registration uh, surpassed at least in registered attendees, surpassed 2021 on the first day, which is fantastic. And our attendance here has been very, very good. Uh, we were getting more visitors for both days than we did in the 2021 uh, edition. Now, granted, that was a still a COVID year. But nonetheless, it's good to see all of this activity. That's the most important thing. Um, went by a lot of booths this morning, and boy, they were they were very, very active. And that's what you want to see as a show organizer. Right. So behind you, we see a lot of new products. Probably these like award-winning products. Yes. So how that went? What was the screening process, and how it how you chose those products? Yeah, they, they, they everybody who was part of the Visionary New Product Awards, they submit their products online through a website that we have specifically designed uh, for for this contest, right? And then from there, we choose finalists in each category, and then the judges go through and pick a final winner. Those winners will be announced tomorrow morning at 9.15 right here in front of this booth as you enter, uh, as you enter the exhibition hall. Right. Well, Angelo, like a lot of exhibition shows, they organize speedy networking sessions. Yes. So do you have something like that in your mind? In terms of in terms of networking specifically, well, that's a great question because what we're finding this year, more than any other year that I can remember recently, is that a lot of the exhibitors themselves are pretty much setting up their own networking events for their customers, which is fantastic. Because not only are they able to meet their existing customers, but they're also inviting new customers, potential new customers. And that's something we really, really encourage of our exhibitors because the show doesn't just take place from nine to five on the show floor. It also uh, moves into after hours in many cases. And that's where a lot of the networking actually gets done. Uh, as well as in our seminar programs and on the show floor, you'll see that there are different events in the booths of, of various exhibitors. So with all of that, you've got a very, very strong networking backdrop to the show. And that's what this, these shows are all about, is bringing the entire industry together uh, under one roof over the course of four days. And I think we've accomplished that mission.
That's correct. Well, Angelo, like uh, digitalization and sustainability are the two most important factors. Yes. So what do you place AWFS in? It? Well, sustainability is, is something that you're going to see a lot of the sustainability you're going to see over on the supplier side with some of the materials that they're coming to market, which is great. But even, even ourselves, we really believe in sustainability. And uh, we've had an ongoing relationship with Lima where they take all of the wood scraps and basically they recycle it and then we donate it. Because before, I remember the first couple of shows we did here, we had so much wood waste, which is really a shame. And that wood waste would end up in a dumpster somewhere and we didn't think that was right. So we decided to put it to good use. And that is a program that we have show after show after show and we're gonna continue to have it. So that is one of the ways that we contribute to it for sure. Thank you so much. That was Vice President Angelo for AWFS. Thanks for talking to Wooden Panel USA. My pleasure.